Do you want to make instant $27 commissions over and over again? If so, check out the automated cash app system. Link below. Yo, it's your man Earl, Batman Stringer, and I'm, I'm, I'm on my movie game. I will never stop my movie game. I don't give a damn if my videos get one view, because that one view will be for me, so I'm always going to get a, a view. Or if I get 100,000 views, no matter, I'm always going to be on my movie game. I love watching movies. So, as you've seen in the title, I watch The Fair, right? The Fair. Now, this is a movie I've been wanting to watch for like two months now, but my girl don't, didn't want to watch it because she said she thought it looked too low budgety. She wasn't feeling it. I thought the shit looked very interesting, the trailer, right? Uh, where did I watch it? The hell did I watch it? I think, I think it was on Amazon Prime or something like that. So I don't know how you can watch it. Just figure it out. Google it. Um, but I've seen it on Amazon Prime. And so let's get into it. First of all, what is the fair about? The fair is very, very simple. It's about this guy. He picks up this lady. He drives down the damn street, starting to take her to her destination. And then something happens and boom. He keeps going right back to picking up this lady, like literally, like zoop, go right back to the same scenario. So basically, he's caught in like this time warp, picking up the same lady over and over again. This is what the movie is about. Now, honestly, seeing that trailer and kind of knowing what it's about, it's like before I seen it, I'm like, this could go either way. This could be dope as shit or this could be whack as hell right so i'm like hey, i don't know right but i had to check it out for myself so with that being said let's jump right into what i didn't like about the fair um it was a it was a little confusing a little bit right and i think a little bit of the trailer is kind of misleading because it kind of make you feel like it can have like a scary aspect to it. Just a little bit now. Calm the fuck down. Just a little bit. It gave me a vibe like, oh, this could be some, some like some demon shit or some, you know, you know, more like a scarier vibe, right? Um, to it. And I was just a little bit confused. Um, also, the cast was extremely small to the point where basically the whole movie was two characters, right? Two characters. Now, granted, there was a couple scenes in there where they had like you know a couple extras here and there, but ultimately, the whole cast was like maybe five people all together, if that. Um, but mainly two characters was like ninety eight percent of the movie was just two characters, and I guess it worked. But I just felt like I don't know. It, it could have been a little, I don't know, just a little more, little more backstory. To it maybe that's what i'm trying to say maybe they could have gave me a little bit more to like how he got you know to the cab situation they explained it a little bit at the end but i think they could have did more like uh maybe gave me a little 10 more minutes at the beginning just to kind of show you know how they got in that situation a little better right so i kind of was like eh, could have did that uh what else uh anything else it was it was a little repetitive, right? Uh, and they kind of cleaned it up a little bit, but I started to kind of get annoyed when they kept going over and over again. And I think they just stopped doing that enough times for me to be like, all right, if this dude go back one more time and had the same fucking conversation with this chick, fuck, right? I was getting to that point. But they did kind of, you know, switch it up a little bit and start opening up the story a little more. Which to me was it was that was I right. that was I. Right. Um, so let's go into what I did like about uh, the fair. Um, overall, I do like the concept. I kind of like the, the the story, right? I do like the idea of like this dude picking up this girl. He kind of seems like he know her, but he really don't know her. But he keep on picking her up over and over again. So you kind of like oh shit, like mm -hmm. the suspense of it. Like what the fuck is this, right? I, I like that. I did like the dark, the dark vibe of the movie. Very weird. Like the scenery. I, I like that shit. Like the set, whatever the fuck you want to call it, the atmosphere. I like that dark, gloomy, you know, that vibe of the movie was pretty cool. I did like that. 
um i did actually like the characters i thought they was really cool like the the guy gino pesci or i think that's his name who played the uh, cab driver and the girl i think her name brenna i think that's how you say it brenna kelly uh her character was so sweet like her i don't know if she liked that in real life but damn the character she played was just so fucking lovable damn i mean she's like your dream girlfriend like she was just so nice and just so just everything about her character is just so nice and peaceful that was just very very fucking good casting or very good acting i don't know what it is but her character just fit perfect she was just so lovable damn damn it <sighs> all right so i really did like that um so what do i think about the ending of this movie uh it was cute you know what I'm saying? It was all right. It was, it was, it was, uh, it was okay. I mean, it just wasn't nothing special at all. It wasn't no, it wasn't no real twist to it. You know what I mean? It was just kind of like, once you seen where the story was going, it kind of was like, all right, boom, it's over. All right. Oh, right. So overall, right. What do I think about it? Um, I, I ain't gonna lie. It, I think it could have been better on the level of, like I said, did a little bit more with the background, right? And I kind of was confused a little bit. I don't want to ruin this shit, but when you see the element of like, when they kind of explain like, how did he get in the cab and who the girl was, I get it. It was more on some like some devil shit right it was more like a higher meaning type thing right when you see it you know what i'm talking about and i guess that i guess it was a cool little twist when you find out why and how he got in that situation but i just felt like it just could have been a little more right overall i kind of was confused a little bit where you know the guy on hit the guy on dispatch you know who, who he ended up being and the woman like who really was the woman? I was a little confused. I might have to watch like one of them explanation videos. Right now, I'm just kind of. I mean, I get it. You know, the dude, who the dispatch was, who the lady was, who the cab driver was. I get it, but I just don't like. Okay, like, hey. Eh. So I'm a little, a little confused on that part of things. If somebody's seen it, you could explain that shit to me better. Um, but with all that shit being said, I'm going to give the fair. Uh, you might be thinking I'm going to give it a two, but I'm going to give this bitch a three. A three out of five. Why not a two? Because I was so damn confused. Why not give it a two? Because honestly, I think I'm missing something, right? So I, I think I'm missing something. It, it, it was like, that's why I'm going to give it a three. It's, 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 I think maybe I'm missing something. So when I figured out what it was, I might be like, oh, sh what? What? Right? Yeah, I might be on that. But until then, I'm going to give it a, a three. Uh, cool movie. It's not a scary movie. It's not a horror movie. It do got that little dark element to it, right? But it's almost a damn near love story. The bitch is almost a love story, right? So, uh, would I recommend checking it out? Absolutely. It's definitely something to watch. It is a short movie. It's not long. Uh, pretty short. Uh, definitely worth checking out. So, I give it a three out of five. If you haven't seen this movie, I highly recommend it. And if you do come back, let me know uh, what you think. If you saw the fair, comment below right now and let me know what you give it. I let the chain hang. Yeah, I'm tattered up. And I love to cuss. I just don't give a fuck. See, I'm just doing me. And you should do you. Yeah, I hear you talking, that's just your point of view yeah. And see, I just don't care, I be like, mm, yeah I done heard it all, damn, there's haters everywhere And it keep me motivated